Okay. Okay. Hello everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good morning, depending on what part of the world you're joining us from. My name is Brenda Unu and I will be your host on today's edition of our show, um, Women's Matters. Now, thank you for joining, Ruth. Right by Grace, we see you. Fifunwa, we see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for being on time. Um, I had a bit of a hiccup when I started just now. I was seeing the reverse side of the camera and I was struggling to get it back. Please let me know if you can hear me, if you can see me. I know that the world has been having some... Let me know if you can hear me and see me. The world has been having some network challenges and uh, we will see if we can make this work. We am sure we will be able to do something. So hello again. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, we're continuing our International Women's Day series. You know, we've been talking about it all through the month of March. We have been talking about it and we will be talking about it till the end of March. Basically, what are we doing in this series? The theme of the International Women's Day this year is invest in women to accelerate progress. So we're going to be talking about how we can invest in women, how we can help them to basically accelerate progress. So we've been taking women from the different sectors, right? So the first sector we had was women in media. And I had my friend Grace, the producer, and she talked to us about what it was like to be in, in the film industry. The following week we had women in STEM, and we had the amazing Bimbala who talked to us about how to start a career in STEM, how to start a career in tech. And she really broke it down. It was so amazing. If you missed that, you should go and catch the replay. Because even me, I was almost thinking, I can get on a career in tech right away. <laughs> and today, we shall be talking about women in the arts. So basically, basically, we're coming away from science now. We're coming to the creatives. The creatives. So women in the arts. Who are those in the arts? We're talking of all the creatives. If it's music, if it's writing, if it's, you know, fine or applied arts if it's you know whatever it is that you're involved in that is a creative space hello hello hi please someone tell me that you can hear me clearly so that my chest will come down and yes our guest is here welcome welcome ayo thank you for joining i was almost beginning to think that i was talking to myself like i was like is there anybody here anybody see me anybody hear me okay Welcome, all of you. So glad to have you. And the theme, okay, excellent. Thank you. And the theme of the series this year is investing women to generally to accelerate progress. So we're thinking of how to invest in women and we're talking to them. Hello. Hi. <laughs> it's been a day how and a half for you. Me. And Tell me it, about it. <laughs> you need to see the way I was driving home. Like, oh, well, I'm not going to be taking this in the car. I'm going to make it home. <laughs> you are me and both. I, ah, and I made it just by the, by the skin, skin of my of teeth. And when I now saw your message, I just started laughing out like, oh, <laughs> well, praise so be well, to God. Well, Thank you. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello, everybody. Nice of you guys to join us. It's an exciting yeah, yeah, discussion yeah, today. Yeah. We, you know, we're, we're continuing our International Women's Day series where we've been talking about women and how to invest in women and how to get them to generally accelerate progress. So right. we've been talking about people. We talked to women in media two weeks ago. Last week, we talked to women in STEM. And today, we're talking to the creatives. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get on with this. We like, need money. <laughs> we need money. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. So when I, when I first wrote as women in the arts, what do I mean by mm -hmm. that? You know, people may start to think, is it people that are draw? Mm -hmm. Is it people that are painting? Mm -hmm. What really do we mean when we say the arts? Please tell us. First of all, ah, please, sorry, sorry. I have to introduce my guest. Oh, I'm sorry. In fact, my guest is none other than the famous and the delectable Ayo Dele Vincent. Ayo Vincent is the an award-winning, multiple award-winning gospel artist. 
gospel artist and she's also an amazon best-selling author you know she's creative in every sense of the word if it is writing she's there if it is singing she's there you know, i mean the woman is just she she just has to blow my brain i'm like come on now only acting remain i don't know how to act but we yeah to I act. To we will act <laughs> let's get into acting same time next year we will get into acting <laughs> let's start by making some skits on instagram <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Oh, oh my goodness. Because that's what our producer yeah. told us when she was here. Well, the day we talked about women in media. Right. She said we should just, you know, to get into the acting world, we should just start you by You never people. know. You know, who, who, you never know. They find you. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. So, Ayo, Ayo, Ayo. It's always amazing yeah. to have you, always exciting to have you come. Thank you. She's Thank you. a woman of many talents, a woman of, in fact, so many different talents. I don't know which one I will tell you today now. She's also the CEO of the Logic Church. She's a deaconess and she's a, one of our lead coaches at the Women's Growth Academy. Mm -hmm. So she's just all around fabulous. We love her. We love her. We're so excited to have her here today. Mm -hmm. And so let's get right into the conversation. So right. Ayo, tell me, when you first heard this topic, what were you thinking like? What is Brenda on about? <laughs> I, I mean, I got it because when you said women in the arts, mm -hmm. I, I got it. You know, um, artist is different from artist. Yeah. Artist with an E yes. is who I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool. I'm in the creative space. I'm in um, entertainment. Mm. Um, I'm in uh, gospel. So you can yes. say ministry. So I'm a blend of ministry and entertainment, right? Right. Um, but when you're talking about artistry, it's expressed in different mm -hmm. forms. So it could be um, in music, it could be in production, it could be in dancing, it could mm -hmm. be in filmmaking or acting. Yeah. In, yeah. It could be and production across boards, really. Mm -hmm. um, sound engineering, um, stage performer. Right. Broadway, TV, movies. Mm. As a matter of fact, even th there are so many um, hybrids now, fashion and the, in, in the arts as well, okay. and everything that comes with it. Because when you're talking movies, for instance, you need costume designers, you need set designers, you need right. lighting, you need cameramen, you need um, makeup <laughs> artists, you need so hair. So if I just start making sets now, I can tell people that I'm in the you movie in the industry. Art. <laughs> Absolutely, you are in the movie okay. industry. Okay. Now, who can shoot a movie without all of these I people? The guy, the it. cameraman. Um, how do you come out for a performance without your guitarist, mm -hmm, your mm -hmm. drummer, uh -huh, your keyboardist, right. your the arranger, you know, your your music director? Mm -hmm. there's, there's just so many moving parts, really. So yeah, I, I get that. The list is endless. I, 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 and as you are speaking, as you are naming those different parts, I mm -hmm. started to think: How many of these people do I know that are women? You know, do we really? We have a number of women in this category. We, what do you think? We do. We do, we right? Do. We do. Mm -hmm. We have so many um, women scriptwriters, okay. editors, okay. movie producers, yeah. directors. Uh -huh. um, so many. I mean, I saw a post today on Bella Ninja just celebrating Sinaj. Um, she's a woman of many firsts. Mm. You know, first like, African to win the Dove Award. Mm. First, mm -hmm. you know, to be on the Billboard charts for 12 weeks consecutively Kimo. in gospel, Kimo. you know, um, second most watched African um, female artist, not just gospel artists, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there, mm -hmm. there's so many women who are doing great things. As in, she's, she's mean, going head to head so many. with the, with no, the no, contemporary she artists. She is, she is, she is, and she's not playing. And this is consistency over decades. You get what I'm saying? So right, yeah. I love it. Yeah, there are women in this space. I love it. Yeah, love it. Amazing. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I need to go and sit on her page today. I'm going to collect some inspiration. People <laughs> <laughs> like Kathy. Kathy put us on the map. Then when mm. she won, I did that Guinness. Um, yes. The the, the, dance the marathon, the dance marathon, yeah. right? Yes, and this was donkey years ago and she's been killing it ever since so i love there it are loads of women loads of women we're here some of us are here Artist, i know author editor like... <laughs> coach speaker mm -hmm. we're doing things you know that, that let's bring it back to you okay, okay. so when we, when i when i thought about you know having this conversation and your name came to head you know, I first of all thought, oh, she's a, she's a writer, she's a, you know, she's an artist and all of that. Mm -hmm. And I said, so tell us a little bit about your life, about about your day and your creative expression through these two means. How do you even merge them? It almost looks like they're in two different parts. Are they parallel or do they meet somehow? They I do. mean, does it is it really come naturally to everybody who is in who is an artist to be able to write, or do you think it's something special with you? You think it's a gift? 
Well, as a writer yourself, you know that there are different kinds of writers and different kinds of writing. Yes. So from writing articles to writing short stories to writing poetry to mm. writing music, which is completely different from being a novelist Absolutely. or a ghost writer, writing fiction, writing um, autobiographies. Mm -hmm. They're just different kinds of writing. Do you true, know? true. So I, I think where the point is that it's a creative process, right? Mm -hmm. um it's 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 an artistic um form that requires expression of your emotions mm -hmm. of your experiences of your perspective of your perception of life and people right. of your point of view you get what i mean right. so um in that in that regard they are very very similar but I find that the kind of writing I do, writing stories, writing books, mm -hmm. is completely different from writing music. And so right. I have to be in a different headspace, head space, exactly. mind space when mm -hmm. I'm doing this or that. I so sometimes so. I want to write, mm -hmm. but, but I, I'm not inspired. I'm mm -hmm. not in that space. I'm in front of the computer and the cursor is just blinking mm -hmm. and nothing is happening because maybe I want to be in the space where I'm making music right yeah. so if that's where i want to be then i focus on that so mm. um in so i can't really tell you whether it's this or that <laughs> again to answer your question if you are like a singer or a songwriter and not every singer is a songwriter true just so you know yes. are you right some people are song? natural you write, you write i don't write song. all my songs okay. i don't know i don't write all my songs okay. and i was going to go into that because when i find that when you write music when you write songs you want to say a whole lot mm. with as little words as possible because nobody wants to be writing jam and i can why they are listening to your songs do you know what i mean I know, they want right? catch phrases they want um relatable hooks they want sometimes it's just it's, like vowel sounds like yeah yeah oh, yo, 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 yo. you know kind of things like let's get let's get yeah. cracking but as a writer you know that both both of us can take five lines and turn those five lines into 15 pages and we'll True. be saying the same thing right because mm -hmm. you walk into a space and you are not seeing the space the same way the average person is seeing the space mm -hmm. you are seeing the colors you are you are you are you are digging deep into how you felt when you walked into the place mm. how um the ambience made you feel whether it was chaotic, whether it was cool, whether it was, you know, elegant, whether the decor is tasteful, whether it's crappy, you know, you are, you are noticing people. We are people watchers, right? Yes, you know that. Absolutely. So, we, yeah, so we go somewhere and we're just observing because you just never know when we this character is coming to your story. <laughs> and so with, with my author's mind, mm -hmm. it's often um, difficult wanting to write a song because I want to put... Well, I want to say difficult. It's just interesting because mm -hmm. then I want to use all the synonyms and yes. all the words that I know, and you know. Be but, hello. Don't nobody want that. <laughs> they want to hear Jesus is Lord or Grace is walking. <laughs> and then you know what to be writing, the splendor of his majesty and the beauty of his hello. I know, <laughs> I know. Okay, I, I, I could I can completely relate to that. Because I mean, we're having a, a writer's program right now. In my in my community so we're talking about show not tell and i was teaching them about it and you know we spoke about in fact as we spoke i got an assignment for them they're all in trouble they have a new assignment now i'm going to go and find a picture it's not my photo ah uh, everybody needs to describe that very picture and i'll just see who right. can get it for me in the most detail that, was, that would be an amazing assignment right. okay let's get back to our conversation so uh -huh. i was thinking you know so how tell us about your about your own foray into the arts like were you always were you just were you born singing or you know how no. did you find yourself what did mm -mm. you study in school how did you find yourself in this industry just tell us a little bit about how you got here so i'm an economist interestingly and i find that most people think that i studied english i know or, right or, or something <laughs> yeah no, no. <laughs> i'm an economist but music um i think music found me Considering how shy, how painfully shy I was as a child, okay. um, I would never have thought that this, what I'm doing now, speaking to people, mm. singing in front of thousands of people, would mm. be something that I would mm. be doing with my life because um, I'm a very insular person. I like to be by myself, um, your classic um, introverted extrovert. Introvert. 
so I would do well outside, but inside is where I really love to be by myself. Okay. Um, yeah. But in school, you know how people just come and like, oh, she can sing. And so, you know, people told me I could sing. It wasn't like I knew that I could sing. You get what I'm okay. saying? Um, shout out to um, Mrs. Ogo, but then she was Miss Fakoride. She was my math teacher in primary school. Hmm. And she was the one who always made me sing. And then she was born again. So she would come to class and, you know, even math class, she would teach us songs, all the oh. Lori no Koje songs and things like that. She was amazing. <laughs> amazing. And yeah, she was really amazing. And then, you know, whenever we're doing something in school, she's like, oh, so I, you're going to sing. And I remember the first time it was, there was there were other Catholic schools. I went to St. Leo's Catholic Primary School. Okay. And so other schools came and then there were heads of schools of other schools. Mm. And then I was supposed to sing in front of all of them. You were like, hey, God. God. It was like, can this ground just open as well? <laughs> you know? And so the the person playing the piano played the mm. opening chords and I was frozen. Oh I my God. Sing. Yeah. And then they played it the second time. I will never forget. Like I was shaking. Oh my God. So she God. was like, like, you know, smiling like you can do this. So I backed the crowd. That's what I did. Mm. And I started to sing. Mm. And when I stopped shaking, I turned around and then wow. I kissed them and I finished the song. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I was like, oh yeah, you did great, but I was like, it just honestly I really feel like if you just give me now, please, because <laughs> I am never and I thought to myself, I am never, never, gonna do this never again. doing this again. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> um oh, and wow. then in QC I was in I was in the Protestant um, choir. I was in Protestant church choir from GS1. Mm. You know, I think myself and Ngozi were the only GS1. Um, sh shout out to Ngozi Madoji. Yeah. <laughs> we're the only two. <laughs> yeah, just one student to the choir then. I mean, I love to sing. I love music. I just didn't like the pressure mm. that came with it. And I still don't like the pressure mm. that, that, that comes with okay. it. No, no, I, I, after all this time, I still don't like the pressure that comes with it. But I love music, so I'll just keep doing so it. So you, you, you <laughs> take some pressure just yes, to do you, what you love doing. You will. And, and it comes with every job. That's what I found out. You know, at a point, yes, I thought, you know, it's only us that face. But imagine somebody who's, who has to do a presentation mm -hmm. and the finances of your company is hinged on giving an excellent presentation and getting yeah. that client. Yeah. That's pressure. pressure. We're, all public, we're all public performers, Every single performers one in one way, way or, or the other. other. Yes. And, and nobody likes pressure, but it's part of it. No, it's part of life. Yeah. I mean, I remember when we were studying architecture, you know, part of our study was to have a jury every semester. And a jury is like a panel. You have a panel of lecturers. You present mm -hmm. your work to yeah. them. And everybody is scoring you. You cannot say, oh, this lecturer loves me, and so I'm getting marks. Forget mm -hmm. it. It's a panel. So, you, and oh my God. The, I remember the first the time marriage. I almost died. I was like, what is this? You know, and <laughs> when, when you now feel like you've gotten to a point where, okay, I'm good. Everybody in the department yeah. knows that I'm good. Yeah. So when I come, so kind of lectures kind of like drop their guard mm. when the student is good, mm. right? So they are like, okay, just keep talking. Guess what? When it's time for the external exams, so that's the BSc final and the MSc final, they bring external like, vigilators. There you go. So nobody knows you. They don't People know that you're you are, you are not they familiar with like you. Good. Yeah. There's the same pressure over again, and I'm like, oh there you God. Go. So, I, I think it was good training. it was really good training because I mean first time I ever walked lecture, my um, boss just took me and plumped me in front of bank executives and said present that work you designed it and I was like, there you go <laughs> <laughs> but I did it because so, I've been doing it for six years in school so and I did that's what we're talking about with Joseph right okay training. hello. <laughs> Nepa has taken light too, but we will continue. <laughs> we are now yeah. Away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They need somebody needs to turn up turn on the generator. Tell them to turn on the generator. Okay. I saw yeah, Moji on the line. We'll yes, the whole we'll world will see, see her. <laughs> She's the one I'm standing uh, now. <laughs> hey, Moji, <laughs> Moji, do the needful. <laughs> but can you see me though? Yes, I can okay. see you. We can see you. Okay, so that's fine. So let's keep yeah. talking. Welcome to Nigeria, everybody. I, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> so yeah, um, and we we're talking about this even today about Joseph's life, mm -hmm. how like the pit and Potiphar's house and the prison pre pre um, prepared him for the palace. So Absolutely. you know, in life, everything, everything is a teachable moment. Everything is training ground. Mm -hmm. Um, every test. Is, is is not a setup for you to fail. Mm. It's actually, like in the words of Bishop T.D. Jakes, is a, a setup for a step up. 
Ah, I love it. <laughs> ah, wait, 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 wait. Yes. Every, every test is a is step is up for set a, up for a step up. I love it. Yeah, that's what it uh -uh, is. Look at that. That's what it is. I'm going to use that somewhere. I <laughs> oh, I love it. So, Those okay. quotes always come in mm -hmm. handy. It's, it's really okay back our power is back, back. You very yeah. loud and clear now yeah okay so i, I was thinking you, you told us about how you know you didn't really like to be in front of people and all of that yeah and i'm just i'm just worried i'm just um i'm curious how were you able to overcome it i remember the first time i spoke in a primary school mm -hmm. a little boy of maybe six or seven came to me and said excuse me ma i would like to speak like you do but i'm so scared Aww. How do you face the crowd? Oh. And I was like, oh, look at you. <laughs> so I'm not going to tell you what I told him. I'm going to ask you, how do you face the crowd? Because I mean, I've been to your shows. I've seen where you perform. Yeah. You know, I'm, 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 I don't know if it looks, you looks, you never look scared. You always look like, you know, maybe it's because you, you, are, you are doing spiritual things. So maybe you are in the zone. Yeah. Like, so I was just going to say that. <laughs> I was just going to say that because a lot of what I do is the music is spiritual. It's ministry. Yeah. So I've always just told myself, it's not about you. Mm. Because if it were up to me, I wouldn't get on that stage. True. But I just, I know that somebody is there because of a word that God has given me. Somebody's mm. there because of a mm. song that God has given me. Somebody's there in need of a touch from God, in need of a word from God. So mm. I just get out of my own way yeah. and let, and, and the thing is, there's something about music, right? Um, which is a little different from speaking, and, and I do both. Yeah. With the music, as soon as you step on the stage and those chords start to play, I don't know, there's like a switch that just goes mm. off. You know, all the anxiety, all the, ah, uh, I hope it's my voice in shape, all the, it do, I, it does, everything just goes away. It matters not. It, do, it doesn't matter. <laughs> they, every, see, every body just ceases to matter, especially when it's worship music. Mm. You know, there is just you and God. Even if there are 5,000 people inside that place, it's you and God. And then mm. plus from Christ Embassy, I got used to singing at Crusades mm. from my teen years, from like 19, you know. So Crusades. facing large crowds, yeah, was not a problem. That's, I'm talking like stadia, you know, wow. Crusades were in, in stadia all yeah, around yeah, right? absolutely. yeah so that's what that's where they just they, when they give you microphone you got you can't leave worship you can't sing you can't leave special song so how do you want to do it and you know like there's no option you cannot disgrace yourself disgrace god disgrace your pastor in you front can't of disgrace the family. thousands of sick people that are coming to collect you yeah. do you know what i'm saying so you are stepping on that stage knowing that you are god's outstretched arm so mm. there's just no room for self in all of that i love it so where i struggled a bit was in smaller spaces because mm. you see in those large crowds there you're not really you're seeing not facing anybody. anybody exactly you're, <laughs> you're not really facing anybody <laughs> so it's a lot easier mm. oh it's a lot easier mm. uh, and if they're feeling you what's one person everybody's just feeling yeah, you okay. you know, <laughs> they are gone you, are, you see those 10 people 15 people meeting. i know <laughs> oh, you are you their faces you are you are you are you are you those oh, are the ones. <laughs> That's where the pressure is real. Oh wow! I, know, I, I love what you said about you know ministry and uh, worship music being that yeah. you know. So uh, this is just a word for anybody who is thinking about you know being to gospel music and thinking, oh, I, I can't face crowds. You know, I have right. them. You know, stage fright and all of that. Mm -hmm. You're just sharing with us now that it's about you and God. That's so right. basically, what you need to do is just to tune into God That's and it. you're worshiping God. And let everybody else pick from there. So it's not you are not performing. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. different mm -hmm. from the mm -hmm. you know secular artists right. who are performing right. for a crowd. Yeah. You yeah. are not performing. You are leading people to worship. Yeah. So if the person can just connect up, it's the only spirit yeah. that does the work that That's carries it. the meaningful. It's not That's your job. Ah, I love it. So you see that it's like even in our Christian space, right? Mm -hmm. Even in our Christian space, yeah, there is um. There, there are many elements of performance. I can't even, because it's artistry. The ministry yeah. is riding on the platform of artistry. So yeah. that excellence has to be there. That preparedness has to be there. Also, yeah. when you are not prepared, then you are not confident. Yeah. Right? Because you already know that, first of all, you are following your own hand first. I know. <laughs> before, before you get there. So that's, that's a space you never want to be mm. in. 
never you never want to be be, be as prepared as you, as you possibly can, can. yes yeah, sometimes you know there will be a mic toss sometimes and then you know it's left yeah. to you and all the things you have been yeah. doing for that time and you step up to the plate but yeah so I know that um, a lot of secular artists prepare, you know, they dance, they practice and all of those kind of things. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I've even heard that Beyonce's father had taught her in preparation, had even taught her what to do if she falls on stage, right. what to do if the music does not cue in, what to do mm -hmm. if, you know, something goes wrong yeah. and all of those kind of things. Yeah. Do you guys have to do, do you have to deal with those type of things too? Do you have to prepare in that yeah. manner? I know so if it's a concert, it. because we perform in different spaces. Okay. There are gospel artists who do who do parties, who do weddings, who do especially concerts. Concerts. Right. Imagine if there are like fifteen other artists on the stage right. with you. Right. So your your cues have to be. And then if you're if you're using like a backing track mm -hmm. as opposed to live music, mm -hmm. then you honestly, cannot, you cannot miss. There's you no room for error. error. You can't miss cue. You can't miss line. You can't no how now. You, you can see your yes. your entire life. <laughs> And then these days of social media, oh, it's been for posterity. Your clip will be out before you're done with <laughs> it's that. It's been for posterity. Please, these people should be kind to us. Oh, no. Have mercy. Have mercy on us. No, they don't have mercy. <laughs> I mean, I went to a show at Christmas, Worry Again. And while at okay. that show, Tiwa Savage was performing. Tiwa Savage mm -hmm. was performing. You know how she normally performs and, you know, comes towards the crowd? Um, yeah. Somebody drags Tiwa, like grabbed her leg. It was it was mad. Oh, if I wasn't standing there, I would not believe it. They grabbed her leg as in bouncers had to come and rescue her. She first thought it was a play. You know that kind of thing, like okay, uh, let me like grab her leg. To, uh, oh, my leg she, she was going. <laughs> bouncers <laughs> had to come and rescue her. I'm like, that's, wow. <laughs> These things are a thing. Like <laughs> And I'm sure she kept singing. She kept singing. So those well, are the, the show ones that did not mm -hmm. see that would not yeah. even have known that, that was happening. Yeah. You know, and I was like Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> the show must go on. The show must go on. Yeah, and it's amazing. So yeah. Tell us about life in life as a woman. You know, in this artist world. I mean, I I can imagine that there will be some kind of hours, or insane hours for practice. Yeah. Insane hours when you have to do concerts and live mm -hmm. performances that go into the night. How do you balance? How do you juggle this with your life as a mother, as a wife? You know. How was it when you your kids were younger? How is it now? You know, just share with us. Because it's some women now. some women are afraid of things like this because yeah. they're like, ah. Yeah. You know how they used to say men we say that my wife cannot be a nurse because oh, yeah. nurse used to do uh, her night duty. She should go and be a teacher instead. Something like that. <laughs> I mean, it is, it is, it's so this is the reality of what we do, right? Yeah. And um something always has to give. Sure. Something always has to give. So there are times where there are certain things that you, you can't take, certain invitations you can't accept, certain trips you can't go mm -hmm. on because you don't have the requisite support that you need at home. Yeah. Sometimes it's not even that the support is not there. It's there, but you know that your responsibility and the opportunity the cost cannot be delegated. High. It's high. Because if you keep doing this, one day you wake up, they're grown, they don't know you, mm. there's no relationship, they're chasing the bag, mm. and then your, your 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 children are suffering for it. So I think this this is something that every individual has to decide how they're going to do stuff. Do you get what I mean? Right. So in my own case, the balance was there, but um, the kids were here and the music was here. Yeah, yeah because I had four of them back to back. And so you had the household of quiet. Quiet. I did, you, you get what I'm saying? At a point, at a, at a point, I had a three-year-old, one and a half year old, and a newborn. Right? So yeah, this one and a half years now, you know. So um That's when how you I have the best was I didn't know people were still doing that in this and we did it. What now happened? we did it, we did it, <laughs> we did it. <laughs> so when that is your reality, um you find that uh, it's hard. But then I took them all, like basically to rehearsals and things like that. The places I could take them, I would take them. Right. And and people are, I, I would say that people are, in, in this part, I don't know how it is abroad, but here people look kindly they are more you, like when you are, right? they are understanding. Oh, okay. she's got three kids. Oh, bring them. And it's like, oh, bring them. Somebody will watch them while you're on stage and all of that. But yeah, that happens. Mommy, I want to wee wee and I'm about to go on stage. Or somebody's calling my phone. There's not a homework. And I was like, 
really people <laughs> so it's i'm saying it now but it was hard I can it was imagine. hard there were days where i felt like like life was passing me by mm. there were days where i felt like this sacrifice i i hope i it's hope that <laughs> so but my nephew said especially if your kids are beautiful true that <laughs> true that <laughs> People always want to carry good looking kids and I have a I bunch know. of them. Yeah. There were days where I thought like the sacrifice you know when when you feel like I hope it will be worth it. I hope I hope I hope I won't regret some of the things that I didn't do. Mm. But then again, you know, it was a choice to have children. And yeah. I never, never for one second felt like they were a burden. But to be honest, when you are a productive individual. There are mm. times and there are days where you feel like, you feel like, uh, yeah, life you know, is passing. Life like is passing. Bad. My mates are moving, and I'm, I'm here cooking in the kitchen and, and you know, you know, <laughs> doing homework and doing school. I, I can completely relate to that. Yeah. I mean, I married my my classmates, so we we came out of school same day with the same degree, go. right? And then I saw how one pregnancy after the other would slow me down. Mm -hmm and guy was yeah. flying so it was almost as if <laughs> hello we have to guard our hearts against resentment yes, it's yes. A thing. you know yeah. you start to feel as if what what is this why like, why i mean what? like we are parents why does it always fall to me yeah why yeah, so you, have why? To, you have to be conscious to guard your heart against resentment and i and so um, i i can completely relate to what yeah. you have just shared so yeah. now you know in I hindsight I know you now have kids that are like, you know, you're, you're first one up to 17 now, be 17, almost. 17 in June. Seventeen in June. So yeah. we're, we're, we're getting we're there. Get so, I mean. We're getting there, girl. We're getting there. And that's why you are seeing traction. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> exactly. So, 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 like, yeah. Share with us yeah. how it is now, you know, and to encourage some, some woman who, who thinks like the, 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 you know, the sacrifice is too much. Mm. The babies are weighing me down. And this is across yeah. all disciplines to be honest professions and the, yes, all disciplines, yes. all professions. Yes. i mean speak Absolutely. to the woman who is writing who is there right now whose kids are little in toddler stage and she just feels like she's missing mm -hmm. out on a lot of things you know how is it now and what do you think you should say to them to just encourage them? so if, if you're in that stage right motherhood is is, is an assignment like it's a full-time job mm. and i wish somebody had told me that then i know I think, yeah because it you know we are almost made to feel like motherhood is not work. Like, like it's just one of those things something you do, you do like you breathe and you eat. Doing. Yes, it is work. And if you are committed to doing it right, it's a full time job mm -hmm. that really does not end. Mm -mm. So I would say to you, give yourself grace. Mm -hmm. And if there, if you, if you are somebody who really needs to do something to feel fulfilled like me mm. um there were times where i have songs i've recorded that i probably may not ever release mm. but like when they're in school and i have time i just need to because when you are creative and let me speak to the creatives yeah. your biggest joy is in when you are actually creative when you are mm. making stuff when you're writing when you're singing when you're recording when you're crafting when you're sketching mm. when you're i don't know putting your your swatches of fabric together whatever mm. it is that rocks your boat and whatever space you play in, yeah. right yeah. that's that's what makes us feel good and you know that the commercializing of that creative process is a whole other kettle of fish Indeed. but i would say yes i would say leave that one first because it's the commercial aspect that brings mm. the money right mm. don't lose the creative aspect don't lose it mm. don't lose it so keep, keep, sketching, keep drawing keep so singing, even if just you're not getting it. paid paid for just, it yes Keep, keep boiling the keep doing your creative juices yes. so that you don't lose it. it. Go for I rehearsal. Love, I love, love that. Record something. Yes. Do do a live one. It's something. Just keep doing it. Just so Ooh. that you don't lose that zest. You don't lose that inspiration. You don't get out of that space because mm. we are the most critical people of ourselves. Oh, tell me we about are. it. <laughs> yeah. So we need to learn to give ourselves grace. We need to learn to give ourselves permission sometimes to just rest from the constant because it's almost like you have like 
356 tabs open in your brain <laughs> at every given time. I know. And then it's so much worse when you are a woman and when you are a mother. And then when you have multiple children, I don't know what to say to you. I don't know what to say to my world. I don't know where. But it's okay. We are not complaining. We are not. We cannot be complaining. Yeah, we, we are not. <laughs> we can't complain. So, I mean, my mom, um, my mom but now, had a sixtieth birthday the other day, and all of yeah. us, all of us were together with her in the picture. You know, her sister was there. That one had one, and that one had two, and they were so thrilled by the way the picture looked with all five of us with her. And right. They thought, ah. So when we are doing our own sixtieth now, we have to borrow you people to <laughs> come and join us. Come on, it's so beautiful today. <laughs> So th that's oh, what I used to console yeah. myself when I think of yeah. my children. Like, yeah. I, I, will, I will, I will, I will enjoy this. I will enjoy it. It's, it's and I, I feel like I, I have done something. I've, you can call it pride, call it whatever, whatever you like. I feel like I have contributed to humanity by bringing this world, right? This for generous. Um, what are you talking about? I mean, for nation. This godly spirit filled it's children. And we are all problem. still work in progress. But guess what? <laughs> Watch yeah. out, world. Yes, <laughs> the world, as far as I'm concerned, the world is better because they are in it. Absolutely. So, yeah. Absolutely. We've been doing the Lord's work. We're doing Absolutely. the Lord's work. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> well, something you said led me to my next question. Okay. So, the business of the arts. <laughs> So it's one thing to be a creative and another thing to be able to actually hone your creativity to be able to make right. profit from it. Yeah. And this is where many women struggle. You know, women, I don't know whether it's a, it's a woman thing, whether God forgot to put something inside our brain, I'm not, I'm not sure. It's not, maybe it was conditioning. It's society's maybe, conditioning. Maybe it's conditioning it from you yeah. know, when we were young mm. and you know how you always mm. felt like your father was taking care of you when you marry your husband, we take it up from there. So yeah. there's, some, there's something missing, really, I think, that makes women not... We were born into right. a largely patriarchal society. You get yeah. It. So, so yeah. I think that is, that is making the drive that it just makes you have a missing a missing drive yeah. for pushing for yeah. you know finance and all of that for yes. money so uh, especially yeah. when we have a craft which we think is a gift mm -hmm. from god we almost begin mm -hmm. to feel like oh freely i've been giving freely i should freely give, give. Oh. Uh -uh. please let us speak especially to the women those of us who are in gospel oh. it's, even, it's even worse that that loud <laughs> that's the word so let, let us speak to the yeah. women please speak to the women on the call today I'm speaking to myself too because I'm 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 guilty. I oh no, honestly I am. I find it difficult <laughs> to charge. You know, I it's like here, hey, good. Why you do like you know I was saying that this book, right? Mm. The cost of production has almost doubled. Yes. But not almost it's it has actually more than it's doubled. More than doubled. I've not increased I've not I'm, increased the price. I'm not able to print. Book. my guess okay. is spinning me. There you go. I've not increased the price because I'm thinking, hey, it's a book for children. Mm -hmm. I'm already selling it for five thousand. So I don't want to add what to it. Eh? Diary of a former of a one pick it. Wimpy kids. It's a mm -hmm. double. There you go. And they will still buy it. They will buy it. Oh, they will buy it. So, they will buy it. So, will so, buy and so as I tell, tell me to speak to them. Let, I'm just, I just need to let them know that we are inside yeah, this water. Okay. So we are talking to ourselves together. This is 2024. <laughs> We have, we have to stop green. We, <laughs> we, 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 we really have to. Have to. We, because guess what? Mm -hmm. We have no problem paying for services. No. You will pray for this side. You will pray engineer. You will pay the person and that should see your premium. video. You will pay for. Yes, now you will pay for airtime. You will pay for promo. You know, you will pay for artwork. Uh -uh, you will pay makeup artists, you pay. So when is that time for us to collect our money? I'm asking I myself, are you dealing with your really problem? Is the problem? What's the problem? We need to cause that deliverance to happen today. Honestly, anything yes. that is holding you from making money, please receive your deliverance today. Because I've in Jesus' own. name, in Jesus it's name. died by fire. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, know, this thing you are saying, eh, we are all guilty are. of it. Like, yeah. oh, I we find are. myself gravitating towards the things that I do for free. Mm. I'm happy. I'm almost feeling yeah. as if you know, you know this feeling of wanting to it's give back. Yes. yes. Yeah. It's not mm. making you feel like, oh, if I'm giving it for free, then mm. God is happy with me. Hello. Who said? But we God got God bills to pay, though. When you call it money. Who said? We have four children. Even mm. this gospel we are preaching, we have to use money to finance it. Yeah. It's free. It's not we cheap. The blood of we Jesus. We, 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 hey, My daughter's God. earpiece has, has broken. Okay. I went to the shop to go and buy earpiece. Earpiece. Mm -hmm. 
iPhone here pieces 15 times. How much they collect for you? There 15, you go. 15,000. I told the man I'm coming. <laughs> Showed me another one that was 25,000. I said, Is it getting better or worse? Uncle, please, I doubt that one. Are you joking? There you go. I've not finished talking. I picked the boys from school. I was saying, Mommy, my football coach, one thing, one thing, one thing, 20,000. I there said, Okay. We have not finished talking. The other one's teacher sends a message. You have cultural day. You need to, you need to supply uh, uh, and donate some things. Mm -hmm. They gave a very long Our list. Please choose what you want. Mm. It never ends. And it then never ends. Now have a gift that God has given you, which mm. He says is supposed to make a way for you. And, and you are reluctant to, to monetize it. I'm, I'm confused. Mm. In fact, this conversation yeah. is about to move to monetization. Yes, because, we because this is a, this is something that is burning in my heart. Yeah. Just today, you know, in TOCI, we had a conversation, a circle I belong to. We had a conversation about monetizing your gifts because we're, right. we're reading this story about about you know Joseph. Mm. And how Joseph's gifts literally got him to the palace, got him to second in command in his in his in in, in a strange country yeah. where he was a slave. Mm -hmm. It didn't matter yeah. that he was a slave. At that time, he was the one with the solution. The and solution. He could exchange his solution for value. That's right. So, dear sister, what is that solution that you have? What is that gift that God has given you? Yeah. So many creatives see what they have as a gift, and so they want to give it away for you. Yes. So oh, I, yeah. When I first started to write, I thought my writing was, I, I, I still say it to tomorrow, my writing is a gift, right? Because I have no training, no formal training, literally no formal you training. And I just get up and I just write and everybody's like, oh, wow, wow. Yeah. So I always believe that it's a gift and I'm giving all the glory to God. However, being a gift does not mean that you cannot collect money for it. I mean, I, I wanted to sell my first ebook, sister. I didn't sell it 1,000. I sold two for 1,000. <laughs> I was, oh my God! I was doing my chest. Hey, I was doing your chest I somehow. Said, ah, one thousand. Hey, two for one thousand. At the point, somebody asked me, "I don't understand. What are you doing?" And what I said, "After mm -hmm. a certain time, it will not become one thousand. Even to tell people, it's not one thousand. It was doing my chest." And I was like, "What is wrong with you, woman? What is wrong? Even though it was a gift, you spent time to put it down in a format that is available for people to read. So Listen. work was done." My mind, now you're talking, my mind just goes to uh, the widow uh, um, whose husband, I think we've talked about this before, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. whose husband was a prophet and he died, right? That she and was he broke. left behind, he I was in debt, right? Mm -hmm. And then the debt collectors came to, to, to take her son. Yes. And then the prophet told her, what do you have? Mm. And, and you know, that question always pops mm -hmm. up. God with Moses, like, what's that in your hand? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Stuff. I, I, it, it's always Joseph interpreting dreams. Whose dreams was he interpreting? It's his own dreams he was interpreting. That's how he Let's got not to go. That's how it goes. Eh. Do you understand what I'm saying? So she has the oil, right? It's little oil. And he tells her, oh, go and borrow some vessels. And mm. borrow not a few. That's borrow plenty. As borrow many plenty as you vessels. can find. As many as you can. He tells her, enter the house, lock the door, you and your son, mm. and begin to pour. And she pours and pours and pours. Was, mm. was, right so all of that spiritual creative process mm. is done then the oil mm. stays mm. when the jazz have finished mm -hmm. what did he tell her to do he yeah. said she go and say it he didn't say because the oh. oil was supernatural and yeah. supernatural yeah. oil do you understand oh. then after that just be dashing people for free i will I... maybe give to the people and beg them so that they will leave oh. them he said go and sell it i have my word go and that's it, sell it. That's so it. that's my own word ah, too for me that... Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, I go and sell it. He told her to sell it. Sell it. it. And when you sell it, pay sell your debts and then use the and rest to take care of your child. Mm. That's it. That is it. There's, listen, there's nothing any human being has that, that is not a It's not given to you by God. There's nothing. Mm -hmm. Your beauty, your, mm -hmm. you do not create yourself. Mm -hmm. Even as singer, like the tone of your voice, you hear some people's voices and you just yeah, have like, to cry. Ooh. It is God that gave you that voice. Uh, Mr. Artist, I can look at you in two seconds and then you just you have produced a whole human being in 15 yeah. minutes. It's a gift now. Everything it's a gift. It's a gift. It's a gift. If, even if, the, if it was not a gift, everybody would be playing football. Mr. I would be playing even football. The and be collecting ones that are not mm -hmm. seemingly gifts yeah. 
For example, there's somebody in the office that gives powerful presentations, mm -hmm. right? You know, that, that, that creates those PowerPoints and yeah. immediately everybody yeah. connects and everybody's like, oh, wow, beautiful presentation. There's people that can present and close yeah. deals. People, you know, so we sometimes when we hear gifts, those we're thinking about gifts things. as well. Yeah, because we're not everybody can see I can the bake. big picture. I can uh, no, it's not only that. It's not only that. It's not only that. Everything. It's not only that. It's not only that. Everything. It's not only that. That is that stands you out is a gift. Yes, it's a gift, and yeah. it's a gift for a reason. It is supposed to make a way for you. That's it. There that's is nobody to whom God did not give that's something. That's my word for today. So yes, it, it, you know, I was I was speaking to who was it? One of my children, and we're talking about you know preparing for you know university, and we're looking for scholarships mm -hmm. and all of that. And we say thinking, ah, you know, how do you know people always say you must have this, you must have that? What is the extra? And I sat and I said to her, I said, there is nobody to whom God did not give something. That's right. We're just going to sit down and look through you. Yeah. And we're going to find the extra. And, before and sometimes we... it's just a story, an experience. Sometimes. Before we did one, two, three things, we found it. There you and go. And I was like, there you go. Because I'm very convinced. Every time mm. I even talk to my coaching students, every time I speak to people, I always say to them, there is nobody. Whom God has not given something. Absolutely, Nobody. No. Absolutely Granted, no. in the Bible, He gave one guy one talent, one guy two, mm. one guy five. Granted, some people, shot, like shot out, talents. Yeah. some people look mm. like they have so much, they're doing so much, but even the one you have. In that fact, was one in has fact, capacity to become a thousand. That was. Yes, absolutely. That was. And, and there was something I listened to in the word yesterday, in, in a sermon yesterday by DDK, and she said, when God said to that, Guy, see, you see, they have come. Somebody have come. Uh -huh. some, some of us have, some no, us have no creative juices. Why yeah, to media? You are in media. You are, just, what are you doing in media? We Tell us. Do your word, guy. <laughs> but everybody has something. Everybody. Even if it's not creative, it's something. It could be mathematical. It could be scientific. It is something. It, it, yeah, there's something. There's, you have Somebody something without something. Yeah. And, and the interesting thing I, I was going to say was that you know in that scripture that one of they gave somebody one talent, one two, mm -hmm. and one three. I mean, one, and one mm -hmm. five. Five. God said that if you did not want to do anything with my talent, mm -hmm. why didn't you go and put it with bank the banker? Bank Guess now. What, what she said. The banker's means. Hey, yes, I was screaming. She said, and I quote, mm -hmm. that. When you have a talent and you don't know how to express it, for example, right. what is the bankers? Somebody that is already existing, has an existing framework of that right. same thing. Where you I can go and so. pitch in, volunteer, join Serve forces them. with, and That's make right. value. That's right. That is the bankers. That's right. So it is not it's not for you to say eh, eh, god i don't know what to I do know i don't know how to, I don't I don't know how to do it i don't mm. have a community i don't have people who nobody will buy i don't know where to start from so you now keep and bury the talents the is lesser is in included in the greater so sometimes that's what you need to do mm. that thing you just said that's it go and just go and plug into somebody who is already doing it. plug into an existing mm. system somebody mm. already doing what yeah. you want to do and go and, and it gives you two things. It helps you to gain the value that you're That's looking right. for. Number two, it teaches you firsthand That's how it. you can do training. it. It's training. It's training. First hand, how you can do it. So by the yeah. time you have done that for a while, you'll be ready. You'll be ready. And, and, and you will now hear, go ye, daughter. Do you understand? It's the world. <laughs> People are waiting for go ye, daughter. My yeah. Friend, get up and walk. And go. <laughs> Jesus has already given you your going. He has told you going to all going to the world. There's no second yes, going. and preach. He's not coming preach to all, 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 all the nations. Go. He has already he has already given the commandment. The instruction has already been Just given go. to you. Go. Just, Just do it. Do it. I, yeah. I love, love that Nike. Nike. Their their slogan. I love See, it. I'm right, I love it. I'm writing a book. Yeah. And it's on execution. And I said to myself, I was going. To Tightly just do it. And somebody mm -hmm. brought to my attention that, ah, madam, are you sure you can title it? Nike tagline, hello. So I now went to go and Google it. Like, can I title my book with some, it's a registered trademark? Yeah. They were like, no, you can't. No, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking for title for my book. <laughs> bring it, bring it to the circle. We'll my check, the title. My check was funny, no? like, 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 <laughs> But that's not really there. It's not Nike. I did not call my book Nike. It's just, just do it. There's just do it. I mean, it's trademarked. So there's nothing you can do about it. I first checked that yeah. it was trademarked. 
Oh, and definitely. Like, and now it's going to check, okay, can I name my book something that is a No, you, mm. you can't go. I said, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's okay. It's all right. Just I'm in Nigeria. Don't wait for me. <laughs> she said, you can try. just did it. I just did it. I love it. I, love it. <laughs> I didn't care. What is that? <laughs> you will see. You will well, just did it. You can't too. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I love it. Yeah, Don't worry. I mean, I said you, you have solutions in this call today. <laughs> solutions. You know how many words is gotten on this call today? There you go. The only is here. I just did it. You can you too. Just did it. I mean, perfection. <laughs> you see, eh, this thing, perfection too, is another enemy of women. Mm. Number one is. Is we don't we don't want to charge or we are we are reluctant to put money forward. Yeah. The second thing is that we are always looking for, for perfection. perfection. Analysis yes. paralysis. Oh my god. Ah. Mm. Just do it's it. Not perfect. It's not perfect. Yeah. You can just do it. It's the answer. See, that's why that's why yeah. it's the title of the book. Ayo. It's just just do it. You know, there's a just reason why it. iPhone is on episode 15. Do you understand? If they there's always had room for this information for 15, as at the time mm. they started, or they were waiting to get this information for 15, they would not have started the Correct. iPhone, and they would not have made tons of Correct. billions of dollars. But Correct. they put it out in the format that they had, and as they found more, yeah. they improved them. So Correct. there's version 1, there's version 2, mm -hmm. version 3, version 4, and you too can put out what you have. Now, put it out. We're not saying you should not do excellent work. Yeah. But we're saying do the that best you have, do that the you best possibly that you can, can at that now. time and put yes. it out. Yeah. And then, because there's somebody somewhere that knows less than you do, that that will be a blessing for. A coach of mine said she bought a book the other day, and she was excited. She was saying, "Ah, oh, she bought this book, ninety-seven dollars ebook." She was now excited that ah, let me read the book. She now read the book. Mm. Then. She was so mm. angry. She's like, "What, what? is this?" Ninety-seven dollars. That I can coach this person. Oh God! Right? I she know that feeling. Was, she was angry. She was like, "What is this?" I know that feeling. And she was lamenting so much. Her husband said, "Okay, give me the book. Mm. Let me even see the book." My husband mm. read the book. But he was like, "Well, this makes a lot of sense. This this person is teaching." And she was like, "I said I can teach this person." What is this? It's your husband. Like, Bob went in her head. She, yeah. She is a person that always does premium. She's forever doing premium courses, premium stuff, and everything. And she right. thought, oh, wait. There are always people at the lowest rung of the ladder. The basics. There are always people that at the just first there. need the basics. That have, that yes. need the basics. They need, yes. they need, I, can, I can put package something and sell it Absolutely. at a low ticket price and just get the thing to be Absolutely. going. And she's like, ah. Okay, so $97 did not pay her anymore because mm. she finally got her. You recommend. She has learned something. There you like, go. Because no experience is a waste. No experience I agree. is a waste. I agree. So even her wasting her $97 ended up being... <laughs> <laughs> it was an investment. It actually was an investment. If it was only to tell her, you can do this and you can do better. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Then in case I just have the charging conversation, please send her the replay. Absolutely. Because we are talking to ourselves as well as to all of you. Yes. See, guys, yes. I'm, I'm preaching to myself first. Trust me, you are not alone. We are all in this not together. Which is at why, all. We are. Which is why we and know, we must rise. We know that we and win rise. and take up space. Yes, <laughs> together. We, we must. Why are we, 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 we sitting on our gifts? Why are we sitting on our gifts? That okay, you now, you now, you now, you now. Will, will you put ninety-seven dollars on your? No. No. We I need more be, audacity. I you know the audacity dream. that the I men have. Dream that we I need to put ninety-seven on. on, on a Do you understand? On a book. Ebook for that matter. Let me print it. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to go and release fifty dollars. Yeah. They are fat. Yeah, fat. Because let I me mean, so my back. chest can carry. <laughs> do, do you understand? Ah, but start all the same. Yeah. And yeah. Start all the same. Yeah. The point is. That's your charge for today. Ah. That's your word. Lord, I yeah. thank you. <laughs> yes. Start and charge. I will charge. Charge for it. A Y charge. Charge with your food chest. Charge. You know, you know this thing about, about I'm charging. I'll, I'll share another experience I had recently. So, um, I, I I was telling my coach that you know, oh, I was called to come and speak, you know, an international platform. You know, it was an American platform and everything. Mm -hmm. And she said, okay, how much do you, you guys even ask me the same question? Mm -hmm. Remember, I how, how much do you charge? I was like, mm -hmm. ah, is it charge? Ah, is you know, it charge? Kind of thing. You know, we don't charge. And you guys, I remember, I remember your answer. My coach's one was worse. She was like, eh. Mm -hmm. So listen. 
everybody has a budget for their speaker. That's right. If your chest is doing you to somehow to chat, ask them, what is your budget, budget for the speaker? Budget. Then start from there. Mm -hmm. It is okay for you to take it. It's okay for you to tell them, oh, what about this? This is what I usually charge. Yeah. And they give a discount and then close the deal. And I said, eh, so I can do that. <laughs> because we are bringing value. Do you get so guess what? Yes. Me, I've already told them I would do it. So I did not, I couldn't ask them mm. for anything. But guess what? When I finished teaching them, they asked me for my account number. There you go. And because they were sending dollars, the money was not little. And I was so thankful to God that, you know, I had this brain with. Guess what? Mm -hmm. A week after, somebody came to me and said they wanted me to speak about so and so thing. Ah, by this time yeah. I was ready. I said, eh, because after speaking for my quote, <laughs> she gave me a, 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 a template, you know. A template. Said, this is how mm -hmm. to you know, present it. So and immediately I forwarded the thing to them. And they were like, okay, so what's your budget? They now said, they now, I don't, they now said, oh, they would like to know what I charge. So they mm -hmm. will know how they can give a budget. So I just gave them a figure. And they were like, oh, okay. Ah, we really like your profile. And I guess when I was responding to the mail, the Holy Spirit said, said to me to attach my bio. Bio. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know why I did that. But I just felt the need to, so I did. And I sent it on. Guess what happened? As they got it, they said, oh my God, we really love your bio. You mm -hmm. really spoke to us. Like, yeah, the person for us, but we don't have this budget. We're a small company. We're just starting our first International Women's Day. And we, want, we, we don't want the, you know, the company to cancel our, our program. Mm. I said, what can you afford? And then they said something. I said, okay, this is how it's going to work. You have to do this and buy a couple of books. You know, we now, you know, just right. negotiate and everything. To, and then we yeah. were okay, cool. I got paid. Me, before, I would have gone there with my fuel. With happiness. Back. Feeling like, like ah, happy. somebody even thought to and call I'm you. Happy. I know me. Oh, I like know. Why? Meanwhile, you, you bought your own fuel there and, and filled your car back. And this break yeah. that we used to speak to them did not come mm, to me. Then, no, you now. Coaches. You paid. You paid I, coaches. You paid for courses. courses. And I know. I'm, I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling you. <laughs> <laughs> we must be delivered. No, no, this is emancipation. We have been emancipated. <laughs> We have been we have been. emancipated. We, we have, have been emancipated. We have, we have been. been. We mm. completely and totally have to be. Have there is nothing that says you cannot make impact and still charge. Because guess what? I mean, really? Haven't you seen those coaches that charge a lot of money? You mm. pay them and you still be praying oh, for them. Uh, uh, you like, what are you talking about? You. In fact, I have sent I have sent a coach after paying for uh, I've sent her money from something. I know what Excuse you mean. Me, Please, I want to just see because, um, because ah. what manner of blessing are you? <laughs> So there's no, there's no separation with making mm. impact and charging money. No. I agree. I it's agree. Not. If God has sent you to do this work, do it. Do it. Your art can feed you. Look at all the artists now. Secular artists, Nollywood, Hollywood. Exactly. That, that's a billion gang. Uh-uh. <laughs> Shout out to David. <laughs> I mean, you know how much bond I mean, I'm about. for a show on appearance, and I'm thinking it's the same principle. Yeah, it's yeah. the exact same principle. We just yeah. try to think, oh, it's worship, oh, it's ministry, mm. oh, it's God's work, mm. oh, freely I was God. giving. Mm. Hello, um, mm. was I'm coaching somebody giving. to help them out of trouble. Yeah, Bona was you freely know. giving. I had I had to see a therapist the other day, and I said to her that I wanted to see her about so and so. Next thing, this man sent me bill before we talk, hundred dollars. That was a dollar. I just recently <laughs> jumped, and I was like, eh, Jesus! <laughs> I did the math in my head. I'm like, you felt oh. that? You will feel it in your head, then you feel it in your chest. <laughs> I was like, I'm coming, man. <laughs> I was like, what? But but I, guess what? I loved it. And I was so, I was like, ah, Brenda, you have to learn this thing. Yes, absolutely. Because we are giving value, right? You're giving value. You can't be, you can't be apologetic mm -hmm. about, about not just your gifts, value. your time, mm -hmm. about um, experience that you have garnered, wisdom that you have curated, knowledge that you have gotten from time and money money that you have invested to get even if and then when you are dishing it out you are not apologizing you, you got it from the spirit it, it i know it's time so it took, are you playing to collect it uh -uh. so excuse me uh -uh. it's not cheap it's not cheap pastor flourish i i reference him a lot mm -hmm. because this guy 
has very rare insight into the Scripture. gospel, into the Bible and the scriptures mm. that you find that you've been listening, you've been you've been reading the Bible for 40 years, mm. and then you sit in one sermon for one mm. hour, and one person just completely upends I everything. Know. And he's not and he's not just talking, he's giving he's you scriptures, sense. the same scriptures you've been now you think that that just jumps on the person mm -mm. you go to try the hours of study of research mm -hmm. of searching the text in aramaic in hebrew in mm -hmm. greek looking for the etymology of the word finding mm -hmm. out okay guess, you know what, what was happening in that day. City, are, are you playing what you have heard. praying what and all of that that, then after that you will not say everything should be free but you are sitting there inside your ace is blowing you <laughs> generator <laughs> is gosling diesel <laughs> exactly. you, you, you will come for concerts the stage alone the stage alone is like three million yes. the stage alone uh, but it should be free because we are singing Jesus. history may the lord forgive you i have Amen. this app i have this catholic app that i, that I subscribe to the first time i was i was um it was recommended to me I got in there and they said we should pay. I was so angry. I, I can imagine. Up. I was so like, like, you were up front end. <laughs> I was like, this thing is in my head. It's not I'm Bible. Not I said, uh -uh, mm. why should I pay? It's like, Bible. Why should I pay? I came out and then something else happened and somebody referred me back to the app. I was like, you know that app that they pay? I'm not paying. No. They're like, go and pay. Pay. <laughs> it was if you can't pay. pay. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> and I went, go and pay. And I clicked it in. I said, how much is it? Mm. We pay for Spotify, we pay for iTunes, we pay for, we pay for Netflix. Uh -huh. Do you know somebody that's putting the work to put this thing together? Absolutely. The platform is not running on or, air. You know, uh, and, and there's back end. Air. There's up. Oh, yeah. There I are people pay. to pay. There are writers to pay. Yeah, there's there's I studio pay. to pay when they are recording the podcast. They, they, there's so much money being spent to bring this thing to you that you, you think you should, that you get think for should free. be free. So as yeah. I paid, you know, in my head, when, why I was justifying it then, I said, you know, we have many, many millionaire Catholics. Why don't you just find them and get them to sponsor this thing so you can give it to everybody free? And, and, and I, I think the literally said to me that, what are you even saying? How do you sound to yourself? Yeah. Like, hello. Is everything don't okay? Pay. <laughs> <laughs> I paid. And, and, That's another charge. And, pay, this, pay. and my lens mm. has been transformed by the devotionals I get every morning there from you. this app. It's the Hello app for anybody who wants to know. Mm -hmm. My whole Lenten season has been transformed. You know, it's with deeper insights. And yeah. I'm thinking, ah, I'm, I can't even remember how much I paid. It was like, because it was insignificant. Because when you want to pay for Canva, you don't check the price. When mm. I want to pay for Zoom, we don't check the price. We pay and we yeah. keep it moving. That's right. That's so, right. In as much, so the second charge is in as much as you are being released to charge. Yeah. Please. Release yourself to also pay. Pay, uh, <laughs> when yes. You see value. Mm. Pay, please pay. Pay. Mm. pay. pay. I paid. I appreciate. I appreciate the effort. And, the I mean, work that has gone into it. it. And which is why I'm I'm thankful to the, to, to, the, to the church who who I spoke to in in Maryland, who sent me a token without even mm. asking. They saw value and they're like, ah, no. Yes. Don't we can't just we they can't just take this like this. <laughs> so they sent up. As it, mark, should be, be. As it should As be. As it should be. As yeah. it should be. And listen, if if people if people would do that, especially in like the church spaces where we feel like, okay, I know things that sometimes, yes, things should, not even that people, yes, you should be appreciated, right? If you do that, eh, people will not ask. The reason why a lot of people and and you know we've had all these trending topics. Yeah. And they always come for gospel artists. Oh, this one is charging five thousand dollars. This one is charging five thousand dollars. This mm. one is charging twenty thousand dollars. Because you don't use your own if money they, to give. You. Yes, you don't. You don't. And so somebody will come pay. with full band. Mm. Then you not give the person envelope. When they open the envelope, oh, you cannot pay one person's transport mm. back to. And you've carried them to. Mm. It will not pay their transport back to where they are living. Like, how do you reason this thing? Or you give somebody check. Those years when we used to collect check. Ah, mm. Peter. Oh God, you know these things now, Frank. They know. Ah, check. <laughs> she don't use to sum us up. It's not just bad. It's it's me. It's me. It's me. It's me. Give you no way. Then they will not sign your call. Ah, okay. No. Uh, uh, and this one is not fiction. Like, I'm not telling you something that has not happened to me before. I'm not telling you something that has not happened to people. So when that happens to you, it's like you're you're a little scared and you feel like ah uh ah. -uh. 
Why now? You know, See my mouth is still give, give me a choice. You should have told me. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And then if, if you even need to structure it, or, or let's have a conversation. If you are not ready to pay, you know, for a band and all of that, let, let me come by myself. As long as you have good music, you have hey, don't, don't put bass on my neck. Because several times, you will not put debt on the artist's neck. That can and then work. I've said for you, hey, then I'm not paying my people for because when I was talking to you, my band was not there. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So I now have to be paying them from my own like, pocket. This why? pocket that I'm looking at, that God, I need more money. You are now mm -hmm. depleting the funds. It's not right. Do you get what I'm saying? It's not right. It's not okay. It's not right. It's not right. It's I, not I, right. I, I, and for I, us I'm too, nothing is free. Oh. Mm -hmm. They don't say that because we are recording gospel music, they will not collect money for video. Yeah, they, they, they will not they collect money for promo. You to, yes, sir. To, to record a, oh. a, a, a song, okay. a track, an album. Uh -huh. okay. I was screaming. I was. I said okay. to my husband. I said, Look at what this guy is doing. Oh, it's not funny. Uh -huh. like, ah. Ah. I was so, shocked. Yeah. So they charge you. They don't say that oh, we are going to profess uh, the word of God. So let's God over. Uh, it no. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> we don't it's have the same body that they will charge us. No, we have they will charge us. That can give us they have, but the body again, people who are buying diesel, they are paying their power. So you understand? They bought instruments, all their keyboard and oh all those things. They, they, they imported it from abroad too. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> it's so free. How do you want to do it? We just have to, we have to just normalize pain for stuff. Yes, actually. Pain for yeah. creative yeah. stuff. We have to normalize yeah. pain for creative yeah. work. We have to normalize pain yeah. for you know people's talents, people's time, Absolutely. people's experience. Yeah. Because I mean, the, the, the thing that the person brings to you with experience yeah. is, I mean, the other day I was talking, we, we, we know we're doing a design for a client, and they were looking at me and like, oh, and I just got there just speaking about something <laughs> with probably the problem that they had been having for for days, and I thought, this is what is experience. This is what experience brings to the table. That's right. Right. You, That's right. you can tell you can you can find the solution for miles off because you've seen it before, because exactly. you've seen it before, because you've encountered it before, because you've dealt with it before. Hi, Absolutely. Annie. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, so I, I mean, I, I love I love where we delved into with this finance mm -hmm. conversation. You know, in the mm -hmm. business of so all yeah. of all we say all of this to say that the business of your talent, the business of your creativity, should be taken very seriously. Yeah. You know, because your gift was given to you by God. To Correct. make a way for you. Correct. You cannot Correct. be talented and broke. Please. Ah. This is for it's me. the most frustrating thing. It's the most frustrating Deliver thing yourself. to be gifted and broke. And broke. That's Very not God's plan for you. It's no, not no, it's not. From you. I no, it's, no. This is not me preaching prosperity. Mm. This is me speaking to you in, with common sense. Correct. God did not gift you Correct. for you to be broke. Correct. If you need to Correct. learn financial discipline, go and learn it. If you need to learn the business of your, of your arts, Go and learn it. If you need to hire somebody that knows it and that can sometimes that's it, what we really please need. Please, absolutely, do it. Partner for whatever with needed. the right people. Yes, yeah. But because because those of us who create, you know, it's one of the hardest things. Cannot for get us. into the space of the money. Yes, of, of the money. Yes, they don't work. Yeah. So if you have to hire somebody, please. Yeah. Do. yeah. But what yeah. do you need to do to get paid so that you cannot be broke and be disgraced in the name of our Lord? Mm. Go and, do and so it. you can create more. If you don't have money, listen, mm -hmm. it will stifle your creativity. Absolutely. It will stifle you. You will be so frustrated, and I know. So I'm not even telling you something mm -hmm. that I don't know. You, it, you, you, you listen because you have so many ideas, mm -hmm. but you cannot execute because There's you have no, no economic power. Mm -hmm. There's no empowerment. There's no money. I, I, you mm -mm. and here we no. Uh, let's, we complain let's not do that. about about content that is not okay. Yeah. Right. And we. We have Christian creatives and we're not creating content. What speak are we to doing? Us. Speak, speak. What are we doing? You are shouting, man, but that is okay. What are we doing? We need the, Every day the we complain. Oh, the, the content on social media. Mm. You know, my son today was, was I, I went to Instagram and the first thing that came up was a, was a I don't even know, a sermon post or something. And I said, mm. it's like your Instagram is only Bible posts. <laughs> yes, please. I because said, we need to remain sane. I said it's insane. It's deliberate. That way. Yes. Don't you like That's it? That's right. He said it's That's okay. Right. It's okay, but isn't it boring? I said no, it's not. No. Look at, mm. We have Christian. We have Christian <laughs> jokes. They come up everything. As I was exactly. Like, okay. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it doesn't have to be Christian. It can also be secular, but clean. Clean. Just yes. Let us Impactful, insightful, an option. Yeah. Let us let us have wholesome content. Yes, that, I agree. That our children can consume. And mm. who better to create this content? Christian yeah. creative. So today we are talking to you, Sam, Matt, the Christian creatives in the building. 
Go we are creating ahead. support support also support go to Ooh. our youtube so now we're talking follow the instagram we, stream the music buy the we, books we, uh, we, attend the yes. concerts we've just finished telling yes. them to buy now they will buy mm. it. Look, look, create. Mm. let us all yes. let's help we each are, other we are we are we are on it okay oh my god i've had an amazing time talking to you today same I have, same we could go on and on and on i and know on. eight o'clock will meet us here we'll never remember <laughs> <laughs> so we have to pull ourselves back and remember that the time is fast. Yes, yes. So before I go, I want you to give us last words. Last words for the Christian creatives in the house. Last words. Something that if they forget everything else we've said today, mm. something that they should take away with them. Final words. So let me let me tailor this to, to the moms, especially the moms who have young kids who are in the creative space. Yeah. And I'm going to say something you've heard a million times, but just don't stop. Don't stop creating. Thing. Mm. Don't ever get to the point, or if you ever get to the point where you feel like you want to pack it in, mm. just go just one more day. Just give it one more day. That's all. Every day, just give it one, one more day. And I promise you, it gets better. Mm. It gets better. It gets easier. Mm. I'll tell you that. It, it does. Um the just the discipline or the religiosity of doing something over and over and over again brings confidence and brings ease to the mm. point where you are almost doing it by rote because you've done it so many times, yes. So mm. get yourself to that space. Even while you're looking after your babies, while you're doing school run, while you're wiping dirty bombs and you're cooking in the kitchen mm. or you are cleaning or whatever it is you're doing don't stop creating mm. thank god for smartphones now yeah so you have an idea record it quickly you may not even have time to type i like mm -hmm. to type you know mm -hmm. just record it in your voice note put something in your samsung note or your i don't know those of you that use iphone i don't know what kind of notepad you have just put something down mm. don't stop creating I love it. it will pay off for, i promise you it will in pay. the end it, it will, will pay off and if it, it doesn't pay it off will. it is not yet the end keep going mm, exactly keep going don't keep stop. going i love don't it stop. i love it i love don't it stop. amazing yes. amazing amazing contribution from you there io please go and Thank follow you. my guest io vincent music follow her on instagram for more scintillating and facebook content i'm trying TikTok. If you go and look at me. the oh, she, you have TikTok too. Eh? <laughs> look, at you. No. look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Let us okay. try. Oh yeah, now go and follow oh, TikTok. Oh my god, Same, Moisa. Okay. Vincent Music, Facebook, okay. Twitter, Instagram, okay. and then I have Vincent on YouTube. Have Subscribe have to my YouTube channel, People of God. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. That YouTube channel is buzzing. It's amazing. Yeah, the kind of things that you have there. there. You're gonna love it. Be there. And I'm so excited to have you here again today. My Same, name is thank you. Anu. I'm the lead coach at the Women's Growth Academy, which is a community of women who just love God and who want to grow in the love of God and in the discovery of themselves. So we're helping each other every day with wholesome content, wholesome conversations, support and everything just to take you to Absolutely. your next level. It's Absolutely. a free community. It's on WhatsApp. To join us, go and click the link in the bio and you can jump right in trust me you want to be there hi pastor ruthney <laughs> hi so you should we, you should do, you should we, join us we do yeah. our lives we do this this instagram lives to show the world the awesomeness that we have <laughs> and just to have the conversation I about things, things that people do ah uncle Yemi, <laughs> you came late but you're here anyway i'm so here, here. Here. He joined at the end of the party <laughs> we hail you all the same so we, we have these lives every Tuesday, 6 p.m. We have conversations about women and everything that affects women. Mm -hmm. And we just talk mm -hmm. about things from different perspectives. Our core yeah. is the Bible. Our core is, is the Word of God. But we also give you plenty, plenty of wisdom from being Bloody around sound. the young <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. So, People are joining at the end. We are, we are, we are closed. We are sharing the, we are we're sharing the grace. But <laughs> we you guys oh can catch the replay. Thank you so much for Please. Thank yes. You. It was Thank you. you. God life. bless you all. Have a wonderful evening. Bye bye, people. Bye bye. Bye. bye.